the last few weeks and uh, we did have a lot of really good conversations and um, I think you summed it up best when you said to me, um, my life's really been a mess for a couple of years, uh, my back was no good and, and I've had so much going on and I just, I need a change and my discussion and um, with you was, I love you, you'll always be a Hawthorne person um, and that's not going to change. Um, but how have you gone in those days and how are you feeling now? Um, give us a couple of thoughts. Yeah, uh, to be honest, I've probably hated the last month. Um, it's been really difficult. Uh, it's been really hard to have the thoughts of saying goodbye to a club that you love and a lot of people that you respect. And um, it was, yeah, it came to me probably Tuesday night that I had made the call and came to you on Wednesday and, and let you know and then let uh, the boys know and uh, it was really tough. I, I still didn't enjoy that day and it wasn't until I woke up Thursday that I think it was just a weight off my shoulders and I felt better about myself and uh, where we're going to take, I guess, my next steps and my next journey and uh, I've been really grateful for, uh, as I might touch on a little bit later, grateful for all the love and the support that um, I've had over this time. Thank you, Jack. Um, I'll just... I just get a, I know it'll get it'll get serious in a minute when I give you some time, but I just want I just wanted you to tell us uh, the the best goal you kicked and the best goal that Luke Bruce kicked. Probably one of the many that I passed to him. Um... It, I, I actually am not sure what Luke Bruce is going to do now because every time he gets the ball, you're the only person he kicks to. So. It's going to be a challenge for him. He's got a new skill set to learn over the summer. He's going to have to make some new friends now that I'm gone. Um, now I'm going to miss that connection with Luke. It's, uh, it's been something pretty special. And, yeah, the 11 years learning off him and creating a great chemistry with him, we, we knew each other's game inside out and where we are going to lead and where we are going to be. And um, hoping that he can find that connection with someone else. But if not, I'll bring him up with me. Boo! No, absolutely not. Joking, joking. Um, you didn't give me a best goal. Uh, probably the 2013 grand final, I think, when I slid, slid across the goal face and, and snapped it. Um, Fremantle were coming then, so it was a nice little steadier, and it's good to get the win as well. Um, well said. Okay, Jack. Um, I won't speak about you again after you, after you chat, so I just want to say thank you for what you've done for the club and for me. Um, I'll miss you. Thank you, mate. And uh, other, than, other than two hours of next year, um, for the rest of your... The two hours you play against Hawthorne, maybe four if we play more than, more than once, other than those two or four hours, um, you'll very, be very much close to my heart. Um, but I'm sure there are a lot of people that you would like to thank. There is. Thank you, Sam. I might need those lights back on. <laughs> uh, I probably thought I was going to be up there, so I might be a bit uh, moving around here. But firstly, I'd like to thank the football club, especially Rob McCartney, Sam and Mark McKenzie, for the professionalism, the care they've shown towards me whilst I made this tough decision to move to a new football club. The conversations are never easy, but the respect and support you had for me while I made this call and what's best for me and my family only solidified for me that this place was full of great people who care about the individuals just as much as a footballer. To the supporters and the Hawthorne members, I thank you for all your support over my 11 years. Hawthorne has such a great supporter group and from the moment I walked in, I felt the love. It's been a pleasure to play in front of all of you. Uh, to the football club, thank you to everyone who's been part of my journey and supported me in many different ways. To the admin staff, the football department, the volunteers and support staff who make the fo being a footballer seamless and stress-free, I can't thank you enough for your time and efforts. This part's for you, Jeff. To the medical team, which a few have come and gone now, but especially Andrew Lambert and Jack Price, Michael Medici and Liam West, and Luke Boyd and his team. I've certainly had a few challenges over the years, but I can't thank you enough for your support and thought you've put into my program to get me over a few delicate injuries 
that have challenged me not only physically, but mentally. So thank you. <laughs> to this playing group, I wish you all the best for next year and the future going forward. You have such a great coaching team to lead you forward and I sincerely hope to see this con group continue to grow and climb up the ladder. I see firsthand how hard you guys work and how desperate a lot of you are to learn and become the best footballers you can be. So I'm sure what you'll get what you deserve. CJ, Daisy, C-Mac, you are now allowed to do your stupid dance moves, your little B-reels, your TikToks, and all those things you kids do. Play your music at 7 a.m. when we get there. Uh, this grumpy and moody 30-year-old in the corner will be gone. But I'm, I'm not sure if you made me feel young or if I felt old, but I'll miss the locker room chat, the story time, the banter with a great group of blokes. Uh, this place will always hold a special place in my heart, and that of my families. Hawthorne welcomed the Gunstons at the end of 2011, and not only did they get a skinny half forward that had to get out of the way of Buddy, Ruff and Cyril, and was scared of Hodgie and Sam, but little did they know they recruited the organiser and the party animals of the, par of the parents' group. Mum and Dad cherished every invitation to be involved with this club and although they both took great comfort in knowing I was at the right club, surrounded by great people, allowing me to not only be the best footballer I could be, but to know that when I did eventually depart, I would be a better person than when I arrived. <laughs> Lastly, I want to thank the parents group the football club and the wider Hawthorne community for the love and support you have shown my family over what has been extremely difficult last few months following Dad's passing. He loved this football club and the people as much as I did. The place brought him great joy in knowing his son was able to be the best player he could be and knowing I was surrounded by genuinely great people who had my best interests at heart. We even managed to convert him from Essendon to Hawthorne, which isn't an easy thing to do. You all wrapped your arms around my family during this incredibly tough time. You hurt with us and you cared for us. You've all been a shoulder to cry and lean on whenever one of my family members needed it and gave us a greater appreciation of how lucky we are to have a football club and community around us at this time. I've been fortunate to have an unbelievable ride at this football club and I've been able to achieve more than I could ever imagine in 11 years. I will forever be grateful to this place for what you have done for me. I'll miss you all. Thank you very much. Well said, Jack. Beautifully done. Thank you for everything you've contributed to the Hawthorne Football Club and we wish you all the best.